look you guys look at the temperatures do you see this and look at all the temperatures that are going to be happening in the upcoming like days it's crazy it goes from like 18 to freaking like 60 i'm so confused it's christmas eve today and i'm actually gonna be spending my long weekend alone because my boyfriend andrew has gone back home to visit his family and today i was actually planning on going out to just admire the christmas decor around the city and just take some really aesthetic vlog shots and just some pictures from my own memory but it is so cold outside i took my dog out this morning and i had windburn on my face within like five minutes so that's definitely not happening um today i plan on just staying indoors and cuddling my dog and staying cozy gonna do some reading some editing and i'm also going to plan a bit of my next trip coming up which is actually gonna be a solo trip back in california i actually used to do a lot more solo trips like at least once a year and i haven't done one since covid started so i've just been craving a solo trip it's definitely different doing a trip on your own where you don't have anyone to rely on in terms of where to go you don't have anyone familiar to talk to and you don't have the freedom to take as many shots as you want for your vlog so i'm really excited and my solo trip is actually gonna be to lisbon yes i'm going to portugal in three weeks on my own and um, i've got to start planning that a little bit because i definitely want to make the most use of my time there Hello, Mr. Sleepyhead. Pico is pretty cold this morning too, going out, and I've never seen him cold, so. <laughs> I just cooked up this nice hot dessert because the temperatures outside are still super low. Um, in Chinese, this is called tang yuan and they're basically glutinous rice balls usually filled with something sweet and in my case, I have a black sesame filling and I've also made a really simple brown sugar and ginger soup for it to go in. I was gonna go on a walk to the park earlier and watch the Christmas carolers at 5 p.m. but I was not brave enough to walk in the cold, so I just stayed at home and did yoga. I have to admit that whenever it gets dark outside and I'm alone, I start to feel pretty lonely and I feel really unaccomplished whenever I've stayed at home all day, but I do think I needed this full day in just to unwind and I need to stop putting pressure on myself to be productive all the time because honestly that's not what the holidays are about. So yeah, and I'm really grateful that I have Pika here by my side. He is my best friend and I would be so lonely, so much lonelier without him, but he's been just following me all the time and uh, feels like he's my only friend right now. to finally come out of the house and go on a walk this morning it's Christmas so Merry Christmas I can barely move my face right now because 
Um, it's freezing. It's like 19 degrees outside, but I'm just trying to go for maybe 10 more minutes and then head back. I'm in Madison Square Park and it's really empty, but it feels really nice. I feel like the city needs Christmas Day to kind of have a breather and reset, just like us, just like humans. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna get breakfast, but I don't know what's open, so I think I'm just gonna go back home and get breakfast. recovering from how cold that walk was I literally came back with my face like super red and my nose just running it's crazy but I've turned on the space heater I've turned on my wall heater and I'm just slowly melting back to normal so I just made some lunch well breakfast because it's my first meal I guess brunch um, just some leftover food so I've got Japanese sweet potato, Japanese fried rice from Trader Joe's, and some hard boiled eggs. Hi, baby. He wants to play. I'm gonna put some sambal, my favorite chili sauce. I only bought this like a week ago and I've finished half of it, which honestly indicates that I have quite an addiction that is probably not very healthy to this stuff. But it just, it's so good. Are you guys team sriracha or team sambal? Because I'm team sambal all the way, y'all. All the way. Mm. I actually don't like sweet potato. I just eat it because it's healthy and um, has fiber. All the good stuff. I don't know what it has, I just know it's healthy. But if I do have sweet potato, it's always going to be the Japanese kind because they're the best. going <laughs> he's so freaking excited <laughs> we're almost there we're at Union Square dog park well Union Square Park and there's a dog run <laughs> I'm seeing bird poop fall on the ground thinking that it's rain, but nope, I found the source of the issue now. Pika loves these greenies and this is his Christmas present. <laughs> Sit Pika. Look at what he does after he gets it. Sit. Merry Christmas, Pim. Oh, wait. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. There he goes. Oh my god, and there goes his bed. It gets so dirty. I got some DoorDash for dinner from a Malaysian spot I've ordered from before plenty of times. 
because I'm craving some Asian food and it's Christmas night and this is what I want. So I got fish ball soup. I've gotten this before. It's really good and you can, they give you so much broth that I can like reuse it for something else. And then I got, this is called Tok Tok Mi. So this is a Malaysian cafe called Kopi Tiam in Chinatown. And um, I love all of their dishes. Really, really good and authentic. Ding! So it's got some like char siu pork with bok choy. Oh my goodness, the soy sauce just splattered everywhere. And it's like a crispy egg noodle, so. Bon appetit! Mm. Mm. So yummy. A little dry, so it goes really well with the soup. I'm getting ready to make some mold wine for the very first time. I got these ingredients a couple weeks ago and just never got around to making it. So what better time to make it than Christmas? I have my red wine, some brandy and all the ingredients set up. So let's do this. Mm -hmm. 